Wayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got the got a Remington Quiet Writer here that is ready. Been service cleaned and is ready, except I noticed on the final typing that the type alignment was a little bit off. And this is a budget job. So it doesn't look too bad right there, but if you look carefully, and it showed up when I typed the word and, it seems like it's walking right there, but it's not. The A is just low, the N is right, the D is high. So AD is really bad. Right there. But it's much easier to bring a letter up higher than it is to bring a letter lower. Now the trouble with the A is the capital is not that far off. I don't know why the capital is not more off. If I adjust the A, lowercase is going to affect the uppercase A. I don't want to do that too much. And the D, let's see, the D, I didn't really look at the D. And the D doesn't look too bad in uppercase either. It is a little high, I guess. Well, first thing I'm going to do is adjust that A up higher. I'm going to try to bend the bar, form the bar with a tool, and see if I can get that to come up just a little bit. So, let's use the A M. There's a baseline right there. Okay, so. Let's try to do some the lid still on the machine. I hope. So we got an A here. Turn some lights on here. I don't have any lights on. Okay, so there's our A. So I'm going to put the type bar bending tool in here on the A in the proper direction and let's see if we get this okay so we got it so it's gonna form this bar upward and I don't like I said I don't want to I don't want to go too far yeah, I don't think this. Another thing is this tool is really made for full-size machines. And even though this is a bigger portable than most, it's portable. And the tool does not fit in here right. Because the bar is not long enough. Okay, I'm going to give this a shot here. I'm not sure if that bent. I'm not familiar with Remington's bars too much and how hard they are to bend, so I have to do a little trial by error here. I don't think that affected anything. Okay, I'm going to try it again. I cannot tell when I was using this how far I have to... Uh, or I have to go with it. Let me try another time. Okay, I'm not sure that moved either. That's a pretty, pretty strong type bar. No, I don't think it affected it. I put a lot of a. Uh, a lot of pressure on that bar and it didn't, it didn't do anything. Let's try one more time, so I'm going to try a little harder. Let's see if I can get this to bend. Okay, here we go. I think I got something out of that. Let's see. Well, 
Well, let's try the handy. It moved. A, it moved a little because there's the other end, and it's up a little bit. I'm going to try a little more. I'm going to try just a little more. Control grip on this. Well, that's tough. Tough to tell. I think I did get that higher. I think I'm going to leave it. Because I don't need to have this become a complication. So compared to the A and D up here, it doesn't look that much better. It's that, that 4D is just too high. Oh, crud. Let me, let me try moving the D down a little. So this tool's not only got the ability to flex the bar upward, if you turn it this way, it flexes the bar downward. I'm going to try that. Now that I know the how much it takes to move a bar here. Okay. Okay, we got it down some. Let's come back up here to the end right there and do the word again. Okay. So, that's our starting right there. That's first A adjustment and that's D adjustment. So that's a little better. Oh, let's just try the AD there next to the, these guys here. That's a little better. I think that's all I can, I'm going to do with this. As far as the regular letters go, it looks pretty, pretty even. those little fine, very fine adjustments. Alright, few step right here. Good day.